Hi guys! Right, Steph here. What we've got for you today is an absolutely stunning fountain pen. Can you guess what it is? Some of you will look at the clip and you may recognise the model, but you may not. Well, let me tell you what we have. We have a pen from, well yeah, maybe one of the oldest pen manufacturers from England. This is a Wyvern fountain pen. The model is the 60C. So it's a Wyvern 60C fountain pen. As I say, one of the oldest manufacturers of fountain pens in England. I believe this started around about sort of the late 1800s um, manufacturing um, hard rubber pens, eyedropper pens um, and again at that particular period as I say they were one of the oldest pen manufacturers later on um, I believe they also manufactured their own um, fountain pen nibs not only their own fountain pen nibs I believe they also made nibs for other major manufacturers now I do believe they had an office in London and their manufacturing was at a, well, it was called the Vulcanite Works in Leicester in England. So the Wyvern pens, well, in theory, they came from Leicester, England. Now this pen I am dating around about the 1940s. Now, you'll notice we're showing in a moment it's a Leverfill fountain pen. The first thing I'd like to show you is this gorgeous pattern. Absolutely stunning. It's a sort of a brown, golden, well, yeah, I would say a snakeskin pattern. Absolutely gorgeous. As we said, it's a lever fill fountain pen. You can see it's got this lever here, which is very sort of reminiscent of uh, Wyvern themselves. You'll notice the end there has this slight sort of triangular end to the end of the lever there. If we take you up to the cap, you'll see it's got this quite a wide cap band to the bottom of the cap there. And as we mentioned earlier, you can see for you people that know the Wyvern pens, a very recognisable Wyvern clip. It's sort of slightly tapers and then comes out towards the end there. But very, very recognisable to you Wyvern collectors. If we take you up to the top there, you can see it's got this slightly domed, it's actually hard rubber cap stud to the very top there. You can see it's nice and black and that sort of matches the end of the barrel there you can see the end of the barrel is also black as well now I fully restored the pen new sack polished etc etc it's come out absolutely superb let's show you the barrel imprint now because of the color I'm not too sure how clear it will be but there we have it it says wyvern 60C and then underneath it has Wyvern Pen Company London and then to the very bottom nice and simply made in England let's try and give you a little bit of a different angle there so there we go Wyvern 60C as I said earlier Wyvern Pen Company London and to the very bottom made in England so a lovely clear barrel imprint the size of this pen from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel around about 131 millimeters capped around the sort of the barrel here it's approximately 11.5 millimeters in diameter as I said it's a Wyvern fountain pen. Now Wyvern, as we said earlier, 
made lots and lots of different fountain pen in lots of different colours, lots of different materials. Um, some were sort of, if we like, sort of the lower end pens and some of them um, were sort of a little bit more sort of quality made pens if you like and this being one of them. It's a beautiful quality made fountain pen as good if not better than some of the major manufacturers of that particular period. It's a beautiful quality made fountain pen. Um, for you people that know the Wyvern pens, some of them on the on the barrel had what we term as a Wyvern Dragon, which was their, if you like, their logo. Sometimes you'll find the Wyvern logo to the to the clip as well. And some of them, as you'll see in the moment, had the Wyvern Dragon on the on the nib as well. But as I said, a beautiful, stunning pen. Wyvern also made, as I say, they made some lower end pens and they made some highly collectible. They actually even made pens which had sort of leather or a snake skin literally um, on the pen itself which are very, very highly collectible. These also, this sort of snake skin pattern is also very collectible within well, within the sort of fountain pen community. It's a beautiful, stunning pattern. Let's unscrew the cap for you. Let's show you the pen in different angles. As I say, in absolutely beautiful condition. Okay, let's pop the cap down. Let's take you up to this section. You can see it's got a black section slightly tapers towards the nib and then it has this ridge near the nib there you can see it's got a nice size nib to it as well now the nib let's keep it nice and still is a warranted 14 carat first quality nib okay as i said earlier Sometimes you'll find the Wyvern pens have the Wyvern Dragon or the Wyvern logo to the nib as well. Um, it's not uncommon to find these warranted nibs on these pens as well. There's nothing wrong with the warranted nibs. Let's give you a different angle there. Let's give you a sideways view. And let's show you the feed underneath as well. You can see it's got a... Well, yeah, again, sort of a traditional Wyvern feed underneath. It's a, a ladder feed or a comb feed. Again, you can see everything is lovely and clean as it should be. So all in all, a lovely nib. A nice size as well. It's not, it's not a small nib. It's not a large nib. It's a very nice size for the pen. Now, when I say size for the pen, there we go. I've got large hands, it's a very nice comfortable pen to hold, it's a lovely size, not small, not oversized, very nice and comfortable to write with, yes to write with, right okay okay, <laughs> I can hear you people saying yes okay then well let's see it writing, so let's bring on some ink, let's dip dip the nib in the ink there we go we can hear lots of bubbling going on which is precisely what we want to hear let's give it a wipe pop the ink to one side and let's bring on our trusty little pad so as always first time it's been written with since it's been restored and serviced so let's see how we go so what we have is a a Wyvern. This one being the 60C, which is the model. As we said earlier, made in England and we're dating the pen from the 1940s
it's writing very nicely. Now, some of these wyvern nibs um, did have a little bit of flex to them, so let's put, apply a little bit of pressure. I would say very, very slightly. Um, I wouldn't sort of, yeah, I wouldn't call it a flexible nib, but little bit of skip in there. But all in all, a very nice writer. Does it have any flex? Very, very slightly. But it's writing very nicely, very smoothly, with a nice wet line as well. Just a slight bit of flexibility with the nib, as you can see there. But, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't actually sort of call it a flexible nib but all in all lovely lovely writer so let's pop the cap back on we'll clean it once we've uh, finished this video so there we have it a very very much underrated fountain pen manufacturer from that particular period as I say this is an absolutely beautiful quality made fountain pen as we said, from one of the oldest pen manufacturers in England, in this gorgeous sort of brown and gold or black. Yeah, like a lizard. Not lizard, maybe a snake skin pattern. And a very desirable pattern as well. The snake skins, the, the, the alligator skin patterns are very collectible within the fountain pen community so there we have it the wyvern 60c fountain pen from around about the 1940s i'm a bit reluctant to part company with it but needs must so what we're going to do let's try and find a nice home for this particular pen i hope you've enjoyed looking at it as much as I enjoy showing it to you people. Don't forget, leave a comment below, don't be shy. And have you subscribed? If not, why not subscribe now? And last but not least, if you possibly can, please support my work down below there. But for now, I'll just say bye-bye for now.